are you, an aspiring social media manager who has binged watched every YouTube video, taken multiple courses, and yet you still feel lost in where to begin on building a successful social media business? Well, I got you because I promise today is the very last video you will have to watch in order to kick off your social media business successfully. And I'm gonna walk you through the step-by-step -step on how I would go from zero to 10K if I where to start it all over again. Hey, my name is Mel and I own a multi six figure social media agency and I now help social media managers do the same. If you are an aspiring six figure social media manager, then make sure you grab my free roadmap to becoming a six figure social media manager that I will drop below. Now let's dive in. The very first step in building your successful social media business and go from zero to 10K is to create samples of your work. Now don't panic. I don't need you to have actual clients yet, but I do need you to start creating some type of portfolio to show off your skills and what you can do. So what I want you to do is you're gonna create content and social media samples of a pretend client inside of Adobe Express. So in Adobe Express, you can create your your own portfolio and your own social media content that you would create if you were to have a client. You can make up this client for yourself, what industry they are, what their target audience is, what platforms you're creating content for. Let's say you're creating content for Instagram, you can showcase the type of Instagram stories you would design, the type of in-feed content. You can even show what you would want their grid to look like on an Instagram page. Now, once you have put these together, this is going to set you up for success to actually land a client. So if you need an in-depth tutorial on how to put together a portfolio without having any clients and beginner friendly, including a template, then check out this video right here afterwards so that you can put this all together today. Now, this brings me into the next step because now that you have a portfolio, I can confidently tell you to start prospecting. Now, what is prospecting? It's really a fancy word for generating leads, generating new business and getting yourself new clients. Now, this doesn't have to be as hard as you think. I would always recommend to start looking within your circle. So meaning this can be anyone in your family that may own a business that would need social media help. This can be a family friend. This can be an acquaintances. It can be anyone that is already within your circle. That's personally how I found my first client. It was a family friend who owned a business and actually they didn't really think about it before, but they could use social media help and that's where I started stepped in. Maybe there's not someone within your circle per se. You can start prospecting on Ta-da! Social media. So I want you to start sending out at least 20 direct messages every single day on social media. Something on the, along the lines of, hey, I checked out your page. I love what you're doing. If you ever need any social media help, these are the services I offer. You can even be as transparent as saying, I just started out. So I have room for another client at a really good rate. If you need help, here's my portfolio. Here's my work since you now have a portfolio. And and you will see there's gonna be people that are gonna ask for some type of portfolio or work you have done. So that's where step one comes in handy. I promise you, if you send out those 20 DMs a day for let's say 30 days, there is no way possible that you're not going to end up with a lead and let alone a paying client at the end of the month. Now that you have found your first client after prospecting however long it takes, don't give up when you don't find or get a ton of no's, you need to get those no's in in order to get a yes from a paying client. But now you need to have the actual tools to manage and run this account. And as a social media manager that's just starting out, you are on a budget. So here are some tools I recommend that are an absolute must. Starting out, you need a way to actually collect payments. So I would recommend you to get Wave Apps invoicing where it's actually completely free and you can send out invoices to your client. It's very professional and you can collect their payment. That's the very first thing you need to do when you start working together and they pay you at the start of the month to do the work that you've discussed and agreed upon. From there on, you're gonna wanna invest in a content creation tool like Adobe Express, who has a free plan where you can create social media graphics, any 
marketing flyers, whatever you're selling and doing for them and their business, you can create it on Adobe Express. Now, what's the great thing about Adobe Express as well is that it doesn't only allow you to design graphics for social media, it also has the capabilities to edit video inside of one platform. Highly recommend you to get on that. And in order to be able to create the actual content while you're working with the client. Then thirdly, you would need a tool to actually schedule this content out for your clients. But again, you're on a budget and you're still growing and getting those clients in order to hit 10K. And so you want to just use native scheduling tools inside of the platforms. If you're using Facebook and Instagram, you, you can use Meta Business Suite. If you're managing their LinkedIn page, then you can use the LinkedIn scheduler inside of the platform. So you don't need to invest in a scheduling tool yet because you're still really trying to get your social media business off the ground. But these three tools are a must need for the foundation of your social media business. Collecting payments, doing the actual design work to create content and scheduling this content inside of a native social media tool. So you're now an active social media manager and a business that has a portfolio that brings in clients after prospecting that you are able to do the work for. Now, the only thing you need is you need to grow, right? Now, the fastest way to grow in business and for you to build this successful social media business and get to those 10K fast, you need happy clients. The fastest way to grow your business is by already having clients that are happy that will spread the word for you. Now, on top of that, if you have a day one client or have worked with a paying client for a few months now, one, you can ask them for a testimonial, right? Whether it's a video testimonial or a written testimonial, maybe it's results you're getting them. You can share this to promote to new clients, right? And show them this is what I'm doing. Add it to your portfolio so that you're starting to build up your reputation and resume for that sake. And remember, especially on the day one clients, I remembered exactly what it was like. You are going to go, have to go above and beyond for these clients to build your book of business and to grow your business so that these clients are very happy and will want to send you new clients your way as you're still growing. And that brings me to another point that those day one clients that have worked with you for a while, what I would recommend for you to do to continue to grow is incentivize them to spread the word about your business and services that let's say if they bring you a new client that signs with you, that pays you, then they can maybe get their services for free for a month, depending on what you charge, or they get 50% off for a month, but you incentivize them to bring you new business and it's a win-win for them, right? It's a win for you and it's a win for your client. So this is a great way to build your business fast, continue to spread the word and get to those 10K months. Now, as you saw in this video today, starting this social media business to actually build and start getting paying clients to actually hit those 10K months doesn't have to be complicated. The biggest issue often I see and is that people are not executing. You're consuming a lot of content, you're learning a lot, but you're not actually putting action and execution into place. And so I would first and foremost recommend take what you get from this video and start executing. You don't need to have it all figured out. You just need to know the first next step and you will go from there and continue to grow. Taking action and making mistakes is better than just consuming content and never actually putting this knowledge into action. I hope you found this video helpful. If you're just starting out as a social media manager, comment below. Let me know if you found this video helpful and are ready to take this leap because I promise you already have what it takes. Make sure you subscribe so you can watch next week's video. I'll see you then.